night in Atlanta. It's great to be here. I'm Michael LeBeau, Global uh, Managing Director for the Accenture Cloud Platform. And I'm here with Sean Peterson, Hello. who is jack of all trades, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the solution lead for, um, for Accenture Cloud Platform. And we're, we want to take a few minutes and just kind of give you the, the view from the, uh, the show floor. Uh, it's exciting to be here. There's thousands of people and uh, the event's going really well so far. Just wanted to clue you guys in. We're um, making an announcement around the latest release of the Accenture Cloud Platform. It goes out on the wire shortly and what it does is it highlights all of the new features that we've brought to, uh, to ACP, particularly around our fidelity for Azure and all things Microsoft. And so we have significant support now for Azure resource models, resource groups, uh, about 19 different uh, paths or platform as a service types, uh, as well as for you know Azure uh, and how you manage Azure IaaS. Um, a big focus for us is around analytics and cost management, and so those are new features to the platform. And if you think about it, over the past year, we've launched 400 new discrete features into ACP, and now it's time to tell the world. So that's what we're here. We're here at uh, Ignite, uh, 24,000 people and we're here to tell that story. So pass it along to your friends. Sean, what else do we have to add to that? Well, so some of the work that I've been doing uh, is building upon what we've added uh, for Azure and ACP. So Michael had mentioned uh, deployment types, adding PaaS, adding cloud economics. We're taking all of those capabilities and working with folks in our pra other practices like Sitecore, like SAP, like Hybris. And we're platforming those solutions, working with those uh, groups into Azure and then uh, managing the full life cycle with ACP. So the idea is we're not just deploying a VM, we're not just deploying uh, a network or a PaaS component, we're deploying the entire environment that's necessary for our customers to operate their applications in an enterprise level. And that uses the blueprint feature that's in right. ACP, right? That's right. We're using ACP's blueprinting feature integrated with the Azure Resource Manager, uh, Azure Automation, so we're bringing the best of ACP and Azure together through the integration that Michael had referred to to, to bring these enterprise solutions to life. So what's the benefit for people listening? Why? So, the, so why? Well, uh, as mentioned before, uh, instead of deploying a VM or a network component, we're deploying environments. And the way that typically had been done is you know, show up with uh, a bunch of subject matter experts and a bag of scripts. And it, was, it uh, was still faster than just hand doing it all, but it still was error prone, still took some time. And so sometimes it would take you know weeks with five or six folks to stand up a, a SharePoint environment. And now, uh, uh, with proven practices, best practice design validated by our SharePoint group, validated by uh, Microsoft and our, our own practices, we can automate the deployment of those in um, you know hours with just a few FTEs, which really accelerates the delivery times, improves the accuracy of that, and then it frees up uh, our value-added work to do higher order things on top of that. So that's exciting. So you get the benefit of the automation of the catalog and of the features of ACP, and then when you uh, deployed that environment, you can manage that environment, the utilization, the cost, yeah, correct. all with the one platform. Yeah, correct. And uh, that's uh, all of the wiring that you'd mentioned that the, the platform team has put into Accenture uh, Cloud Platform allows us as the solution group to build on top of that to focus on enterprise solutions, how to bring all that together and then life cycle it, provision it, monitor it, manage it, meter it. So I know we're at Ignite, but is that only for Microsoft or does it work on other clouds? We work on other clouds. Uh, we have uh, work with, with Amazon. We have uh, work with private clouds like uh, uh, VMware vRealize. But some of the, uh, the new capabilities that you'd mentioned are very excited about in the Azure PaaS space are some of those that have got a lot of our customers excited. Great. Yep. All right. Terrific. So that's, that's our story. Do you want to say anything about migration? Yeah, so there's a couple of great features in ACP that assist with migration. We've got a component called Cloud Mover. It can help move workloads from on-premise to Azure and back. It can move it uh, from on-premise to other cloud platforms. Uh, and then on top of that, we've got some patterns and practices. We've worked with the Application Modernization Group. We've worked with folks in Avanade. We've worked with folks in ATA, Accenture uh, Technology Architect or Advanced Technology Architectures, to determine how do we write new applications onto these platforms that we're building. So modernize, migrate, yep. and green 
Greenfield. In Greenfield, cloud native. Right. So that that's so all the whole story is starting to come together. Yes. Right. And uh, we're integrating different pieces of Accenture all in one place. That's right. We're and trying standardizing to... shared service, self service, all all around the cloud. So th this is a space to watch. It's exciting to to watch Sean's work over the past year, and there's a lot more to come. So so just you know watch this space. Uh, we're going to bring out even more in the, in the coming months. Thank you. Thank you.